Okay, everyone, we finally, finally made it to Blackwater once again. I am going to go speak to him in a second. We've got this guy over here. Let's go speak to him. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Should I? Should I really? That's not my guy. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Well, can I at least go talk to what's his face over there? Or do I have to wait for that too? How dare you guys? How long do we have to wait? It is midnight. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Good day. I say good day. <laughs> Streets are so much cleaner than an RD or two. Mind you, this has like less stuff all over it, but still. Not as many assets. You mean they did already send me out the room? Sweet. I'm tempted to get the uh, elegant suit on just because. Whatever. But I am going to save the game just to make time pass. Time we got now. By the time we get there, it might be seven. <laughs> I think that's one of the very few bugs I've seen, <laughs> which is not bad if it's only. A random broom that... Oh, did I knock it over? Yeah, I knocked it over. Down the street. Like I said, by the time I get there, I'd probably be almost... No, I'm not dueling you. I've got stuff to do. I'm 
unfortunately we can't take a dip because if we take a dip, John will die. My guy can't swim. We got 15 in game minutes. So I'm running around like a crazy person. Funny. I can find seagulls now. I can hardly find them <laughs> in the second game. When I want them, that is. Is that guy selling? Hello, Mr. Policeman, sir. Why are you not, you know, doing your rounds? Or are you, you so waiting? Fast, it is not 7 o'clock yet. Oh, come on. I was going to say, it is close enough. Just let me in. Upstairs on the right. One fourteen. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. Mr. Marston, I'm so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well, look. That's what you keep saying. Mr. Yeah. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing sure. I want to do is out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. Hey! 
I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Three forty-four. Three forty-five. Three forty-seven. Three forty-eight. Three. I'd rather take my horse, but if we must. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I, oh, think I he might. Knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Oh, it's a boar. I'm like. What? Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. I must. Well, hurry up. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlyn is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. You want to keep going, sir? Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe and Dutch got wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. It's because it's a trap. Well, if John will go through the door. I'm supposed to go. Guy's gonna die before I can get to him. Over here! I found him! 
found him. Good God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Devil! Come on, we need to get him to safety. There's one of them. You clearly They're don't like me, mistake. Of course. So I said it's a trap. This is your last chance to surrender. Come on, let's head for the pier. We just fought Vanderlyn. No, you don't. The army is on its way. Don't shoot Nasus in the butt. Stop shooting him in the butt. Alright, I'm holding a guy and I managed to climb that hill. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. What I don't get is, how did Ross not see anything? Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! Listen, Linda. Has it started yet? I can't 
can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No. You've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. You ain't God! In your case, Mr. Marston, it turns out I am. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. You kind of just spawned into me, buddy. All right. Is that mission? And I will see you all in the next video.